Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the processional. Good afternoon, everyone. Please be seated. I'm David Heinemann, Dean of the School of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. Welcome. Before we begin the formal ceremony, I'd like to ask you to silence your cell phones and please make sure that you attend quietly during the ceremony this is a very special day for everyone, and we want everyone to enjoy it individually. 
During the ceremony itself, we ask that you express your pride and do that by applauding and cheering. It's a very special day for everyone, graduates, parents, family, and friends. So thank you for being here and please enjoy the ceremony. To our degree recipients, trustees, alumni, faculty, staff, parents, family, and friends, welcome to the School of Natural Sciences and Mathematics commencement for the class of 2023. It's my distinct privilege to join in the celebration of graduates and newest alumni. Today represents the culmination of years of hard work, determination, and preparation. It's a day full of mixed emotions, joy, pride, hope, and for many, utter relief. Graduates, you've achieved a significant milestone in your lives, demonstrating both academic prowess and resilience. While navigating the uncertainties of life, you successfully laid the foundation for your future. I vividly recall the sweat, tears, and numerous bowls of instant ramen noodles it took me to get to my own graduation. The conclusion of the academic program often comes with excitement, but it also comes with fear of the unknown. My only advice is to show up each day, act boldly, and contribute in the best way you know how. Embrace mistakes as opportunities for growth, allowing them to propel you forward to success. Natural sciences and mathematics are fields that require innovation, creativity, and critical thinking. And I have no doubt you will rise to the challenge. Whether you continue your education, pursue research, or enter the workforce, you are destined for greatness. To everyone who came to support these graduates today, I want you to fully appreciate their role in the world's future. They weren't just students just studying for tests, listening to lectures during their time here at UT Dallas. They spent countless hours in the lab helping us fight to end cancer, design life-saving drugs, and send cutting-edge technologies into space. Many students have worked tirelessly to advance clean energy, create mathematical models for informed decision-making, and many other things in this broad school. Some are even harnessing their passion to become the next generation of STEM teachers. To the graduates before me, you give me great hope about a bright future for North Texas and beyond. Thanks to your tenacity, we are answering important questions and developing solutions that will improve the way we live, work, and raise our families. We look forward to cheering you on as you continue to contribute to the betterment of society. As you leave our campus, remember you remain a cherished part of our family. Our faculty and staff stand ready to support you in the years to come. Your education serves as a dress rehearsal for the exciting road that lies ahead, one that is now yours to lead. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2023. I wish you the best of all luck wherever life may take you. It's time to hop in the driver's seat and firmly press down on that gas pedal. I now have the privilege to introduce colleagues that are joining us today up here on the stage. This semester we're trying something new and hopefully it will all work without any flaws, but if there are any, please be patient. We're gonna actually not only have me shake the hands of the fantastic graduates, but we're also going to have those that are in your department, a representative department head, shake your hands. So bear with us as we try this new, new test. So at this point, I would like to ask the faculty to stand and remain standing as I ask the audience to hold applause until introductions are done. So first we have Michael Bewer, Associate Undergraduate Dean, Pankash Chowdhury, Associate Graduate Dean, and department heads and faculty from the schools, Dwayne Winkler, Greg Diekman, Tom Burkowski, Vladimir Dragovic, Andre Cisneros, Elizabeth Pickett, Stephanie Taylor, Eve Sadat, 
and Lloyd Lumada. Thank you all for being a part of this special day. Please be seated. To introduce today's student speaker, it is my pleasure to welcome Dr. Pankaj Chowdhury, Associate Graduate Dean for the School of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. Thank you. It's my great pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker today, Ms. Kyra Mills, soon going to be Dr. Mills. She is graduating with a PhD in chemistry. She joined our program in 2018 after receiving her bachelor's degree in chemistry from uh, Texas A&M Commerce. There she was also a McNair scholar. After coming to UTD, she, uh, she worked on her dissertation research and, and uh, she wrote her dissertation under the supervision of Dr. Hedier Torabi Fad. Kira has excelled in research, teaching, service, and leadership. Uh, she has won awards for her research, including those from well-known companies like Merck and NVIDIA. She was also invited to write a book chapter uh, with her advisor, which was based on the work that she did as part of her dissertation research. She also worked as a TA for various chemistry courses and won the Outstanding Teaching Assistant uh, Award last year in the chemistry department. This year, she, ser she served as the as the president of the Chemistry Graduate Student Association. She has played a key role in re resurrecting this organization after it was shut down due to COVID. She also actively volunteers for the local community. She fosters dogs for local shelters. And during winter freezes, she organizes uh, donation drives and distributes care packages to homeless people to keep them warm. In her free time, she likes to hike and explore nature. She is fascinated by abandoned buildings. In fact, she held her wedding in an abandoned building in East Texas. So let's welcome Kira Mills. Hello, everyone. Graduating students, faculty and staff, family and friends, I am so honored to have been nominated for and given the chance to stand up here and speak to you all. Before I begin, I want to make sure all of you realize how special and important this moment is. After years of hard work and dedication, you have all earned this degree. If you have not yet taken a moment to let that sink in, to recognize how momentous this occasion is, please use today to do so. This is a time in your lives I am sure you will always remember. It represents a turning point in your journey no matter where life takes you. And the education you have received, the experience you've gained here at UTD, is something no one will be able to take away from you. And I hope that when you look back on your time here, you can see the value in that and can appreciate just how special it is that you have achieved this. For those of you who don't know me, which is most of the people here, I have spent the past five and a half years at UTD working towards my PhD. I have had the privilege to spend those years doing the science that I love, teaching chemistry to many of you graduating today, working with faculty and staff, and simply interacting with so many people on this campus and in this community. Despite the hard work and late nights, the slight emotional breakdowns when my experiments fail, and the imposter syndrome taking over, I have genuinely loved my time here. However, growing up, I had no idea I would one day be studying chemistry. For most of my life, I didn't even know it was a thing people could do. If you had asked me when I was five what I wanted to be when I grew up, I'd have told you a zookeeper because I just wanted to feed animals. At eight, I'd have said a secretary because my mom used to take me to work with her and let me play with office supplies, but it turns out you have to talk on the phone a lot for that job, which is not one of my strengths. At 11, I'd probably say a musician because I thought people who could play multiple instruments were so talented and my dad was helping me learn to play the guitar. Spoiler alert, music is pretty hard and despite my efforts, I'm mediocre at best. At 13, I'd have told you a librarian. At 15, I wanted to own my own ranch. At 17, moving out and starting college on my own, I'd have said a vet. At 19, I learned about chemistry for the first time and realized I really liked it. At 21, I wanted to be a synthetic organic chemist, but during my undergrad, I gave myself chemical burns and in grad school, I thought I'd never smell again after pouring water into acid. And now, at 27, I'd tell you I want to be a science communicator, helping researchers bridge the gap between what they do and the general public who benefits from it. But if someone offered me a lot of money to open up my own antique shop, I don't think I'd turn them down. 
I tell you this because at so many of the career development events I've had the privilege of attending, there's often a discussion about what it means to be successful. And one of the most common definitions I hear is setting a goal and achieving it, making a five-year, one-year, and three-month plan and checking off each box along the way. And don't get me wrong, I think this is incredibly helpful for a lot of people, but by that standard, I don't know if I have ever been truly successful. I failed at music, at being a secretary or librarian, at working with animals, at being an organic chemist, and it's not because I wasn't passionate enough or didn't want it enough, although I will say I did fail a couple classes. It's because as I've grown and experienced new things and met new people, I found things I'm more passionate about. And I'm sure most of you have similar experiences. If you were lucky enough to find the thing you wanted to do for the rest of your life when you were young and you get to achieve it during your lifetime, you should be so proud of yourself. But if like me, it's taken some time and some winding paths to get here, I want you to know you should be equally proud. Changing your goals and plans is not a sign of failure. It's proof that you have grown and learned from your experiences. So instead, I'd like to share with you how I have defined success for myself over the last several years. I believe being successful means leaving a place better than it was when you arrived, even in what may seem like the smallest of ways. If you had the privilege of volunteering, you made this place better. If you were able to be a part of a research group and expand the knowledge in a field, even if it's just how not to do something, then you've made this place better. If you taught or tutored, you made this place better for other students. If you gave a pep talk to a friend, helped them cram for a test, or even helped them think about something other than school for just a minute, you made this place better for that person. And maybe you aren't even aware of the impact you've had. Maybe you had a conversation with a member of the faculty or staff that stuck with them. Maybe just by existing here, as you are, with all of the aspects that make you uniquely you, you have made, you've helped someone else realize that they belong here too and made this place better. And so I hope that as you leave this place, you define success in a way that fits you. I hope that as you go off to start your career or the next step of your educational journey, you remind yourself that changing your goals is not a sign of failure. I hope that you are all just as excited as I am about where life may take you and about all of the new ideas you're going to learn and the new people you're going to meet. I hope that you remember the importance of helping others and that even the smallest acts can have a major impact on the people around you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity and congratulations again to the graduating class of 2023 and the family and friends who helped you get to this point. It is now my pleasure to welcome to the podium Associate Undergra Undergraduate Dean, Dr. Michael Buer. Thank you, Kira, for your amazing talk. First, I would like to offer special recognition for all the students graduating with honors today and talk to you about the various types of honors we have. To earn major honors in natural science and mathematics, students must complete an independent research project that has been deemed honors worthy by the department in addition to maintaining a high GPA. Independent research is always highly valued by our School of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. Will all students who have earned major honors within NSNM please stand as you're able and be recognized? Please be seated. Latin honors are based on 45 hour residency requirement and grade point requirements for natural science and mathematics. A minimum grade point average of 3.4 is required for all Latin honors. Students graduating with major honors may be wearing a stole. First, cum laude. These are medallions with green ribbons. The grade point average that represents the top third of all graduates in a particular school is considered the threshold for awarding cum laude honors. Magna cum laude. These are medallions with green and white ribbons. The grade point average that represents the top 15% of all graduates in a particular school is considered the threshold for awarding magna cum laude honors. Last, summa cum laude. These are medallions with orange and white ribbons. The grade point average that represents the top 5% of all graduates in a particular school is considered the threshold for awarding summa cum laude honors. Will all students graduating with Latin honors, whether cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude, please stand and be recognized. Okay. 
Please be seated. Collegium 5 is UTD's four-year honors program. Collegium 5 admits approximately 300 students per year. To graduate with Collegium 5 honors, students must graduate with a 3.5 grade point average, take 24 hours of honors-related work, and complete an honors capstone thesis or project. I would like to invite all Collegium 5 graduates here to stand as you're able and be recognized. Please be seated. Phi Kappa Phi is the nation's oldest, largest, and most selective all-discipline honor society. Will all Phi Kappa Phi members please stand as you're able and be recognized? All right. Secondly, it's now my honor to certify all candidates for undergraduate degrees. Will all candidates who are receiving the bachelor's degree please rise if able and remain standing? <laughs> Dean Hyman, on behalf of the faculty, I certify to you that all these candidates who have completed all the requirements are entitled to receive their respective degrees. Candidates, please be seated. It is now my pleasure to welcome to the podium the Graduate Associate Dean, Dr. Pankaj Chowdhury. Thank you. The commencement ceremony is very special for all of us. We all get together to celebrate your academic achievements and earning a degree. Each of you has a story to tell us of how you reach this point in your life. I, I'm sure the story involves a lot of toil and tears, but also making new friendships and opening new horizons. Eventually, it is a story of hope. You are overcoming obstacles and fulfilling a dream. As you continue on life's journey, it is our hope that you will put to good use what you have learned here. We also hope that you would do it wisely, humbly, modestly, and with your heart. And you will always make us proud. On this special day, we would also like to recognize the parents, families, and friends of our graduates for their contributions and sacrifices that have helped make this graduation moment a reality for our students. So to our graduates and their families and friends, congratulations, good luck, and best wishes. Will all candidates who are to receive master's degree please rise as able and remain standing? Dean Heinemann, on behalf of the faculty, I certify that the candidates who have completed all of their academic requirements are entitled to receive their master's degrees. Candidates, please be seated. Earlier, a special recognition ceremony was conducted for graduating doctoral students. Each student who participated in this ceremony invited his or her advisor or another UTD faculty member to assist the Dean of Graduate Education in placing the doctoral hood of their commencement regalia over their heads. The conferral signified the success of the student in completing his or her program of studies, leading to the highest academic degree at UT Dallas. Since the doctoral recipients are already hooded, it now only remains for them to receive their diplomas. I ask that all doctoral recipients now stand as able and be recognized. Graduates, please be seated. I turn the podium back to Dean Heinemann. Thank you, Doctors Beaver and Chowdhury. Now, by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the University of Texas System, I confer upon each of you 
the respective academic degrees for which you've been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations appertaining thereunto. And I offer my sincerest congratulations. As Dean, it's my privilege to congratulate and formally recognize the graduating class of 2023 for the School of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. I now invite all graduates to cross the stage. Audience, please listen carefully for your graduate's name as they cross the stage by degree, not in alphabetical order. Graduates receiving a baccalaureate degree, please come forward as your name is called. Department of Biological Sciences. Catley Nguyen Lu. Bishur El Sharida. Yaritza Desiree Artiaga. <laughs> Safa Hava Rahmani. Sebastian Andres Agrello. Amy Lamb. Xavier Emmanuel Cardenas. Rohith Avula. <laughs> Betel Berhane. <laughs> Samuel Young Sin Chen. <laughs> Lasia Varshita Madonna. <laughs> Zoe Noel Bradley. Ama A. Prempe. Dimitri Nicholas Sitsanis. Henok Abera. Media Loe Arabzada. Christine Ann Achillian. Philip Abadou. Hera Ali Al Musawi, <laughs> Preston Paul Acosta, <laughs> Anisa Bakshi, <laughs> Amina Benaisa, <laughs> Leal Kamal Abu Kamis, <laughs> Quincy Lee Bellman. Gianna Perez Sangalang. <laughs> Donham Carr Rundawa. Yeah. Lily Danielle Tran. Yeah. Heather Deanne Rhodes Serrera. <laughs> Aditi Rao Subramanya. Rachel May Hawkins. Hannah H. Kim. Jose Alejandro Garza. Andres Guerra Gonzalez. Sergio Luis Contreras Barraza. Ali Imran Ilyas. Christy Wynn. Rose Babu Karyampali. Lysha Nicole Chopra. 
Noreen Gawani. Judy Din. Kazi Nasif Kamal. Christian Columbus Cameron. Maida Baratella. Mustafa Al Rawi. Bam Zong Madong. London Michelle Little. Sindhu Janaru. Ibrahim Mardini. Juan Lan Lee. Kristen Marie Lara. Taha Nikan Nagshine. Victoria Christie Wynn. Fabia Mahiat. Bavik Mata. Joel Lopez Ayala. Ashley Ho Wynn. Isabella Castro Alfonso. Jason William Davidson. Hansel Chan. Galare Samsami Shirzad. Bando Ngo Nayama. Gloria Chiamaka Okereke. Kwan Din Min Pham. Miriam Shaban. Yasmin Ratmanian. Syed Hassan Raza. Dai Kwase. Shahzeb Raza. Emma Solari. Arij Saida Raza. Sheena Ranwan. Sweda Pentum. Danish Moeen. Lily Nagusa. Samia Pronomi Hawk. Roger A. Via. Kevin Tan Vo. Akshita Srirangapuri. Sravya Thatakura. Ashley V. Tran. Alexis Josetta Varnell. Geethanjali Vena. Maria Yasmin Siddiqui. Alexis Walsh. Diraj Soundara Rajan. Zui Kwok Tran. Siddhi Sharma. Francisco Trinidad Uriagas. Tanisha Alpesh Patel. 
Renee Weichen Chang. Emily Elizabeth Aaron. Qian Xu. Kevin Adrian Juarez. Zheng Xiang Wu. George Jose. Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. Brandon Hui Bui. Joshua Ryan Habamusino Hernandez. Brandon Anthony Anasio. Benny Emmanuel Negron. Maya Haytham Farage. Emma Lisa Ayala. Judith Wan. Trevor Miles Wayman. Wendy Tong. Harold Luke Bennett. Ian Lane Miller. Phoebe Win Fee Win. Matthew Cow Win Le. Caden Scott Lane. Isaac Rene Quinones, Omar N. Diab, Cyril Abraham, Daniel Barrera, David On Doe. Department of Geosciences. Isaac Alejandro Rangel Landeros. Matthew Christopher Posada. Blake Austrin Zastro. Carla Paloma Lara. Liam Hammond Williams. Paul Edward Roden. Mary Dolores Cutshaw. Department of Mathematical Sciences. Marcos Munoz. Joshua Roger Simons. Kevin Shadman Shake. Ann Biju, David Matthew Ferguson, Whitney Jean Hummocky, Fillmore Fancy Kuang, Umar Ali Salam, Ni Tan Tu Lee. Sean Ryan Carey. Vanessa Tung V. Van. Mozum Abbas Nakvi. Yuya Cho. Ariane Atwal. Yasin Ahmed Mohammed. Mahedi Hassan Tofik. Adam Zuffrey Shaker. Roger Aguilar Codina. 
Matthew Abel Patterson. Austin Connor Sweeney. Abigail Elizabeth East. Angie Noemi Soto. Department of Physics. Eric Signs Madrid. Ishita Solanki. Ben James Dunn. Cameron Lee Thompson. Samuel Nallen. Sean Scott Smith II. Osvaldo Ian Oriana. Graduates receiving a master's degree, please come forward as your name is called. Department of Biological Sciences. Trevor John Watson. Grayson Fletcher Almond. Sifa Khan. Hina Zera Kazim. Muskan Sadik Nurani. Sanjana Subramanian. Aparna Upaluri. Alekya Yadav Murupala. Rabia Ahmed. Hannah Malone Omamalan. Vaidehi Chintan Kumar Shah. CJ Nicole Sayans. Rahil Syed Ahmed. Sophia Maria Alvarez. Fabiha Zahin Khan. Munir Oladipupu Yakub. Department of Geosciences. Roberto Hairston. Era Chla Santa de Ruk Karunanayaka. Robert Stephen East. Emily May Strain. Sarah Caitlin Walker. Department of Mathematical Sciences. Ismael Isak. Hyun Guk Yu. Levi J. Barksdale. Morgan Bennett. Dona Hassini Vatsalya Gamune. Mananange Sanjaya Manduranga Saman Kumara. David John George. An Nak Shuan Lam. Sara Nizar Pramani. Department of Physics. Stashu Michael Gibbons. Kwa Win. Emmanuel Oche Ame. Graduates receiving a doctoral degree, please come forward as your name is called. Department of Biological Sciences. Adnan Ashrafi. (laughs) 
Aishwarya Krishna Mohan. Simbarashe Mazambani. Department of Geosciences. Kai Xiong. Department of Mathematical Sciences. Faisal Ahmed. Department of Physics. Chintak Morali. Congratulations. Stephen Patrick Fluki. Pawan Koirala. This concludes the presentation of degrees. Congratulations, one and all. I'd like to thank the university staff who planned and executed the commencement ceremonies today and express my appreciation to faculty administrators who gave their time today to participate. I want to give two special shout outs today. One to Georgetta Oliver, who's somewhere here, who worked very tirelessly on this. And a extra special shout out, a little bittersweet moment. Judy Barnes, who's been running these events for the university for a very long time, is very unfortunately retiring, but moving on to another happy chapter of her life. So I'd like a standing O. Wherever she is. Thank you all, please be seated. So the reason I did those special call outs is you may not realize the amount of effort that goes into planning and organizing these, but it's really immense. And so we really value all the effort that our staff put in. And now comments, we have one last assignment for you. Would you please rise as able and move your tassels from the right side to the left side. For those of you with class rings, I invite you to turn them so they face away from you to point outward toward your future, symbolically pointing to your place in the larger world of UT Dallas alumni. Congratulations again. Please be seated. Let me the, be the first to offer my warmest congratulations to you and my very best wishes for a prosperous and joyous future. In addition to earning the degrees conferred upon you today, you've earned the right to be associated with a very special group of individuals. You may now call yourselves alumni of the University of Texas at Dallas. I know for a fact we have some other alumni with us today. Could anyone who is alumni of the university please stand? And by the way, you're all alumni, so stand again, please. We're going to get your exercise. Thank you all, please be seated. And thank you and welcome back alumni. Glad to see you engaged again in the university. This day marks a wonderful milestone and not only for your lives, but also for the university. I wish you all the best as you go into your new lives as graduates of University of Texas at Dallas. Enjoy your day of celebration with your family and friends and return to us soon. And now I ask 
for you all to please rise again. As I said, we're going to get our exercise today. <laughs> and please join in singing of the UT Dallas alma mater, led by a recording of the university's premier a cappella group, Novus. Graduates, please remain standing, and will the audience please be seated. In a moment, the administration and faculty will recess through the rear doors of the auditorium, after which the graduates will also recess. Graduates, please pay attention to the staff that will be here to help you get out the appropriate doors. And once the graduates have left, family and friends may leave by the doors by which you entered. Once you do, please exit the building, turn to the right, and you may join your graduates at Davison Gundy Alumni Center. Congratulations once again.